Welcome to Weekend Word. Colossians 4 says that I have learned that whatsoever state I am in, therewith to be content. That if I am abound or I am abased, if things are going good or things are not going good, that I still am content. There's another verse that says that godliness with contentment is great gain. And yes, and yet so many times when life happens, we have a hard time completely accepting and being at peace at whatever it is that the Lord has allowed to come into our lives. So in the next minute or two, I want to talk to you about determined joy. Because yes, there is a joy that we have when we are filled with the Holy Ghost that bubbles up inside and is a river that flows through us and should flow through us at all times. But that river can become clogged if we allow discontentment and grumbling and complaining about our life situations, it can hinder the flow of the Spirit because we serve a positive God and He wants to be able to flow through us. So part of it is that we must determine in our mind We need to have a mindset of joy. Yes, joy is a feeling, but joy is also a mindset. I plant my feet. I set my face like a flint. I determine that I will honor the Lord my God in whatever comes my way. Now, it can be easy when it's little things that happen. But what about when it's something really big, like a a terminal diagnosis, the loss of a job, uh, estrangement from a loved one that is just tearing us up inside? Can we be content then too? I believe we can, but I do believe that it's a process, that as we grow and we mature in God, we learn to go to him, we learn to lean on his word, we learn to look to him, and in that, our feet grow deeper in the in the foundation of joy. We learn to keep our spirit clear by how we pray, how we meditate on the word, and how we repent on a regular basis. And all of that combined, we can say, God, show me how to give you glory in this situation. Even when it is a difficult situation, I determine joy. I choose joy. Let's pray. Lord, I ask that you touch my viewer today, that you anoint them with the oil of gladness and a spirit of joy, and that you empower them to begin to practice joy in their life by the foundation of your word and the power of the Holy Ghost and the mindset of determined joy. In Jesus' name, amen.